Okay, I had a bit of a camera storage problem and it stopped and I, um, recording, so I missed the part, um, of the video where I just scratched, um, tree trunks in, um, with this, um, dip pen. It's this two-part pen, um, that you can buy, um, and you can use interchangeable nibs of different thicknesses and you can dip it in paint or um, brush paint onto the tip and draw fine lines. In this case, when it was wet, I scratched and the pigment pooled in those grooves. And if you scratch when it's dry um, and it's a little bit too dry now, um, but there. I might use like the tip of a razor blade at this point, but you can scratch in little trunks, um, suggestions of tree trunks, and at any rate, um, I then mix together um, the first mixture, which I didn't catch that on um, film. I mix together on the left. I mix together the mixture that has the smallest amount of phthalo blue. And um, if you compare it to what's in there, uh, we kind of know that it's going to be darker. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch this out. And um, the mixtures on the right might be really, 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 really so dark that um, well, we'll just do it and see. And so, if you're going to make phthalo green at home from those two pigments, I would use even more raw sienna. I think I used about a fourth, I guesstimated a fourth of pigment blue, the phthalo blue, and three-fourths raw sienna. And I got a darker mix than the actual, um, what's in the actual tube of Cascade Green from Daniel Smith. So, um, this is already, it's like uh, revealing things, which is pretty fun. So let's go ahead and swatch out this first mixture, which is mostly raw sienna. And I'm going to, ooh, I went like three-fourths of my card, that's fine. I like to leave a little space underneath to do a little snow and a little cabin later, maybe. Um, okay, I'm going to run the, our mixture along. Ooh. Wow. So, yes, it's starting out darker. And now we're going to wait for it to uh, separate. And um, I'll give it a little water. Wow. I actually quite like this mixture. Um, it's more of a blue greeny. Um, it is separating nicely. And um, wow, let me just try that. I, I haven't done this before. So I want to just add a a little more water in a couple spots and then I might there um, let it spread a little bit and I'm going to bring some of this color up and just barely I don't want to just just swish through the whole color because I want the separation to continue to occur. Um, I'm going to lift up some of this paint that um, went off the sides so I'll get less of a um, color flowery effect on the edges. But um, it's not bad to let it happen and see. So let's Scratch in 
some trees. And this is what I did on the last, the section of the video that got lost. But you can see it now. And I don't know if it's because of the amount of water that I put on this card. Um, this is a piece of arsh paper, um, and I cut it trading card size. Now you can see there in the bottom that dry spot, it's scratching through to the white of the paper. Alright, now I think I want to maybe just see about lifting a little cloud there. It's not really a cloud. Uh, there's not enough pigment there, but um, I guess you're seeing a lot of sheen. There. That makes, oh, uh, this is a beautiful color. I almost like it better than the other one. Here's the other one, which is drying. So, it's sep it'll be a little while before it finishes separating. It's almost more kind of moody and mysterious. There is less separation of the blue flowing up, but we'll give it a chance to dry. So let me set that aside, both of these aside, up top here, and we'll come back and compare them um, in just a few minutes. I must have just really put a lot of water on that um, second card. I don't have uh, great controls for that yet. Um, so here's our next mix. This is about 50-50 of raw sienna and pigment blue, sailor blue. And um, it's going to be darker. We're near that up front. It's just going to be darker um, because it's got even more blue than the last mix. So if I weren't, um, if I hadn't set this up on camera, I may have just stopped at the first mix and um, not added this much blue on the second. But in the interest of curiosity, we'll at least mix this second one. And uh, it's very blue. Um... I might not mix a third mix. We'll see. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's, I didn't turn down my notifications on my phone. So, this is pretty much looking blue to me. Um, let's get my hockey, little mini hockey brush here. And lay down some water across the top two-thirds of that paper and um, you know this is explorative for me I'm not sure if I should try to add more water because the last one seemed wetter um, I will let you do that at home here's what oh wow that's actually quite pretty okay yeah this is gorgeous color there's not a lot of green because the blue is so dominant and um, I was watching other YouTube videos about phthalo blue and apparently it's not a favorite because it's so strong and um, it's hard to lift once it dries, it stains. Um, so now you know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and scratch in some trees. And um, we'll see what happens there. That's a silly tree. Uh, I wouldn't go as high. There, I might go like that. And now, um, 
it's so intense that you don't get um, a paler color in the background to off, offset the blue. And let's try it a little bit up in here. So this is outside the realm of the color separation fun for me. This is pretty much just using, it's like using phthalo blue. I'm not going to mix this last mix because it's mostly phthalo blue. Um, so that's like the experimentation process for me. And it looks like um, if you're going to mix your own Cascade green, um, then you use like mostly raw sienna. And I'm going to get this out of the way. It's nice, but um, it's not something... I want to stop exploring um, any deeper concentrations of blue and go back to the uh, smaller proportion of phthalo blue, which we have here. This is about one-fourth phthalo blue. And, um, you know, it would be worth trying this a few times to see if it... Um, how much blue. I would try using less blue, but also fiddle around with the amount of water um, that's actually on the card when you apply it. Um, so that's my experimentation. I hope it was helpful, and I hope to mix other colors in the future. I want, I did mix some uh, Arteza. I'm, I'm not sure if you say Arteza or Arteza colors. And um, I mixed there, I didn't have a burnt raw sienna in Arteza. Uh, so I used the colors, here I'll slide this all up and just show you real quick. That's black. Um, and this is a mixture of phthalo blue and burnt sienna. And you can see there's some separation uh, there. And I loved it. Oh, I loved being able to mix something that would separate like that and make such beautiful colors. So I hope to do more experimenting and mixing single pigments together in the future um, and see what happens. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.